Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing tonight our journey through Pokemon Emerald. Although it'll probably be the end, maybe. Hmm. Uh, because we are at the Elite Four. But I know everybody has one very important question on their minds, and that is, why is Luna playing the Nintendo 64? And the answer is, I discovered how to make this emulator go fast. And thanks to the speed-up speed, I was able to do a decent amount of grinding. And that's mostly because Luna was, like, super effective to high, high experience givers in Victory Road, in that Victory Road section. That's just a little few walk away, few steps away from the Elite Four building. And so I basically just used the experience share to bump up everyone, like, five levels and Luna by, like, 14 because I wanted to make sure that everything was at least decent, that we had a good level balance. But yeah, <laughs> Luna was the carrier who just annihilated the Hariyamas of the world and the Golbats to give everybody else a, a somewhat decent level. And then there's her, finally being at the top of the pack with almost 200 ex <laughs> health points. Uh, but let us quickly take a look at our inventory. We have 38 revives and 75 hyper potions. And nobody, not even my super leveled Gardevoir, exceed 200 health points. So I don't think we need to care all that much. Elsewise, everything else... I forgot to sell the big pearl. Not like it matters. But I think everybody has their preferred... Held item, <coughs> so we shall go and try to defeat the Elite Four and then maybe perhaps see if there is a post game. I don't know if there is a post game at all. I don't know if there's a national dex. I don't know if you go to like another region like you did in Generation 2. I do not know what happens. Post Elite Four. I will look it up maybe if nothing is obvious, but maybe somebody will be like, hey, go do thing. Because obviously the game will want me to capture like Kyogre and Groudon and Rayquaza at some point, and it might describe the diddly dees of going about and doing that. Not sure if I care to. I will look up a guide, and if there's like a few chunks after everything, we'll see. But let's do Elite Four first and worry about shenanigans later. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon, and go forth! I wonder why it has to be a double door and not just one. They had to have twins guard it. Very interesting. Kind of felt like that, those electronic walls feel like Undertale-esque. Welcome, Challenger! I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like the, the look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. All right, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League! I hope I gave him a good voice. Okay, that was a new intro thingy. Interesting. He looks dapper. I have never heard of this guy before. Okay, at least for the first guy, maybe I overleveled, but it's the first guy. I probably should have bought more elixirs, actually. Oh no, that's not good at all. <laughs> then again, it did cut poor Zoom's uh, attack down a bit, so... Oh, that's not good at all. Double Edge does a decent amount of damage. I forgot that you would do that. Darn. Headbutt is basically poor Zoom's only good move. I was going to say something, but I just know that I would... Oh, you're doing that again? You're doing that again! Hmm. I'm going to play it safe, and I will use a Hyper Potion on Zoom. You know, that would be an interesting mechanic. Like, I, I, an idea came to me. What if, like, 
you were playing like a game, like a Pokemon game. And of course, that was the one I missed. Double Edge, you're going to KO yourself at this rate. I don't even need to attack you anymore. You killed yourself. But yeah, my idea was, what if there was a Pokemon game, but what it did was it allowed you to heal like a certain number of Pokemon once. Let's see, who gets to annihilate you? I think Nickel gets to annihilate you. Because I think that would be interesting, like it forces you to consider your healing carefully, and it's kind of mirrored by the upper echelon of these guys. The upper, like, gym leaders and trainers and Elite Four members. Critical hit! Nickel coming in with like, time for me to murder! The tree shall die! And Nickel was happy. Absol. I think Nickel can stay out and kill. I don't know Nickel. Uh, I don't know an Absol's typing, so we'll probably let you do it. Maybe I should increase your evasion, just in case. This is why we gave the lax incense to Nickel. Okay, you're gonna raise your attack, I'm gonna raise my defense, uh, or my evasion, and we're both gonna be very scared for a while. Okie doke. I still would've really liked- Oh, fucker, he hit. And that's probably gonna be the kill for Nickel. Yep. Cause you raised your gun- <laughs> How dare you, game. Once again, when I do thing, game is like, no, you don't get to do thing. How dare you want to raise or lower thing? That only works for the fucking assholes you fight in this game. Genuinely think that. Also, Night Fang learned Crunch. Wait, it's kind of... It's kind of bullshit, game, that when they raise their shit, they do fine. When I raise my shit, it doesn't do anything. Make it flinch. Yay. Because I think that's a bit shenanigans. And it's going to be the death of you because it raised its attack five billion times. And it's just like, oh yeah, we get to do that. I guess I'll send Zoom out to be a sacrifice in a way. Mostly to try and deal damage with more headbutt. Maybe even kill it. It killed it. Good job, Zoom. Let's see. Cac turn. Except Nickel is dead. So what we'll probably do is raise... Hmm. Well, first things first is I will Hyper Potion Zoom, and hopefully Zoom will get a few, like, survival rounds in, and we'll patch up Diddly D Nickel for now. Where are my revives in here? I should try and move them. Ah. One of the stupid of plot points of anything is when conflict happens just because someone wasn't being honest. Ah, is it the liar reveal plot? That is a very annoying one. Especially when it's like... Silly. It's just like... Oh no. But at the same time, it also depends on what they're being dishonest about. But nine times out of ten, it's something silly like, You weren't actually a group of warriors, even though they were succeeding at being warriors. I did indeed. <laughs> the ring, 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 phone call, phone call. It just awakened memories in me. It's been five billion years since I've seen that. I really need to, like, rewatch the old Pokemon anime. If only just for funs. Because why not? Don you leech seed. Quit leeching my soul. Is it called needle arm because the cacturn punches you? Is that it? But plus it would also be interesting to revisit the old Pokemon anime. Because I only saw like certain episodes because I didn't get the full series. It didn't like... It, it did, some of it aired back when I was a kid, but it was like a certain season. Oh, I'm unbeatable, Pokemon. Advanced battle. Also, as soon as Ash's mom heard his voice, she got real uh, ready real quick, didn't she? As anyone would for their child. 
I forgot to see who's coming out to murder, so we will send out Shane, I guess, because why not? Try to make not everybody die. Well, that was perfect! Ha <laughs> ha! My intuition struck grandly. While you're fighting the Elite Four while reminiscing on Pokemon anime, remember to stay hydrated. I just remembered I forgot to put in the Judge and Edgeworth redemption points for Twitch, even though it's a dying platform. I went to the pet store and asked for a dozen bees, and he gave me 13. That's why the extra one. He said it's a free bee. <laughs> That's a silly pun, but it works. I don't even know where you'd go to buy bees in this day and age. It's just not really something you think about. You want to go buy bees? You can't exactly go down to the bee store. Well, how do you like that? I lost. That was fun, so it doesn't matter. I got $4,900. Pokey dollars. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. <laughs> My grinding has uh, very much helped. The only thing that really hurt me was that Absol, and it was because of the diddly darn swords dance. Because when they raise their <laughs> stats, it does something, I guess. I raise my stats, it does nothing. I lower their stats, it does nothing. Because the world is cruel. As cruel as I am to poor Zoom, who is going to be the meat shield to the majority of these. Now, you seem like you have a water motif to your sprite, but there's, like, decaying rock around you. Speaking of bees, the reason why beekeepers' clothes are white is because bees are really aggressive towards darker colors. Huh. Ha <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Why do you have flowers on your head? And why are you dressed more like a water person? So headbutting won't really work against you. This is why we have Surf Go! Why do you, why, why? Uh, why? Oh wait, will normal hit Ghost? I forget. Hmm. And Jin One, how many ghost type Pokemon are there? I think it's only the Ghastly line, so three. Okay, just wanted to double check, because I, I remember weird things being the relation between normal type and ghost type. It's weird. But <laughs> it also didn't help that, like, the Ghastly line, I think, is part poison. So in Generation 1, the only Ghost-type Pokémon, who are meant to be strong against Psychic, if I remember, couldn't be. Because... <laughs> what is the curse? What is the afflicted... What is the curse? Okay, it's just damage over time, I guess. But yeah, because, like, Ghastly Haunter and Gengar, I think, are part Poison-type, the... the Psychic-types were strong against them. It's kind of amusing, if you think about it. So you're just a dirty little, you confuse Ray, protecting curse. You are a, you are a monster. You're just sitting there laming me the fuck out. I have potions, you whore. I have more potions than you have in your stupid not water dress. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna drown all your ghosts. I'm, I really hope that I have enough ether to keep. <laughs> Zoom in the battle, at least for this part. Lamer the fuck out. Break through the confusion, please. God damn it. Darn you can- It's like, seriously, th you have an annoying thing, and I can only imagine what your, like, fourth move is. It's a move that doesn't affect normal types. Because that's why you're not using it. You use protect. You use curse. You use your freaking confuse ray. You're a monster. I will laugh if one of the new Pokemon is a human girl. No animal, just a human. Is it? Damn you. But it's like, that reminds me of a funny thing 
I think, uh, I, I have no idea which one it was. I think it was X and Y, or was it the Alola games? I forget. But there's a Pokemon game where the main villain is like, Wahaha, I shall, like, fuse with this Pokemon to wield power. And then you're like, oh, is this going to be the boss fight against a human? The, the, the woman in the giant Pokemon ability thing throws a Pokeball. It is very silly. You thought you were going to fight a human Pokemon fusion monster? No, it's a Pokemon battle. I'm going to see if I have a berry to get rid of that stupid fucking bullshit. Confusion, confusion, confusion. Is do I have confusion? Restore, restore, restore. Friendly, but lowers. So I do not have the diddly D. Surf. It also feels weird that I think my surf was going down faster power points wise than it should have. Which is stupid. I wasn't even using stronger agile style. I remember that one episode of Pokemon XYZ where the Pokemon and their trainers swap voices. I do not know that one. That thing I am unaware of. Well, let's see. Can you can fighting type smack you? It cannot. Sadness. Now I'm gonna have to use an ether. It is also kind of annoying that Curse is just eternal, apparently. Max Ether! Jeez, can you imagine uh, Misty with Wobbuffet's voice? <laughs> Wobbuffet! Ash! You need to get me a new bike! It's been a long time since I've done, like, a good Wobbuffet voice. Then again, it's hard to really tell because you only hear Wobbuffet say Wobbuffet! Wobbuffet! Someone hire Charles Martinet for Wobbuffet now. This is a very wonky fight. Because you are evil. Why? The game cheated! It knew that I was going to attack! It knew it! So it cheated! You whore! It knew! All this other time that I was healing, it never once used protect! And then it went and did it! You bastard! You fuck! Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm all... You're probably gonna die now, aren't you? How much damage does the curse fucking do, game, you asshole? Fuck off. Genuinely fuck off, you piss-ass game. Fuck off. That's stupid as shit. Heedly he, I use protect when you actually attack me. Fuck ass. That's stupid. It's only stupid because the game was pulling so much fucking bullshit. <laughs> With that stupid, oh, I'm gonna use curse, and then I'm just gonna lame you out. But then I'm gonna understand when you're going to attack me normally. Well, now I'm gonna super affect you to death. I have extreme annoyance when games do bullshit like that. Now, if it was just... <laughs> What's the difference between protect and barrier? Pro I do not know. I've seen more protects in this game than barrier. Protect basically just goes, lol, nothing happens this round. And the thing is, they only use it when you attack, apparently. They only do it when you attack! Wait, this is a ghost dark type, isn't it? If I remember correctly, you're a little bitch to fight, too. Okay, never mind. Well, maybe you are, and it's just a weird, like, interaction of the typings. I could have sworn that there was something weird about you, Sableye. I could have fucking sworn. Oh, so when it does, it's like, oh, I'm gonna raise my evasion move. Oh, it works for you. When I raise my evasion twice, I get super affected to death. Shenanigans, I tell you. But yeah, that's just such grade A bullshit. The game. 
just like whenever I was healing my Pokemon, it's just like, I'm gonna use Curse again. <laughs> I'm gonna use Confuse Ray. But the moment, the moment that I attack, the moment it uses it, fucking uses it. Oh wow, would you look at that? It did it like one evasion up and now I'm missing all the time. How convenient, you little bitch. I see you, game! And this is why I have healing out the ass! I have more healing than the entirety of every single side of World War II! I could solve the medical problems of the world in what's in my backpack! Then again, so could most medical companies, really. Except they're like, for one ounce of what's in this backpack, you I require uh, five billion dollars. Sir, we are dying, and sir, I need five billion dollars. I think I've been killing them so fast, except for the dust glops that haven't been able to heal. <laughs> Sucks, don't it? I'm a ghost, and I know Thunderbolt. Why can't you be Rotom, then? Well, because Rotom comes in Generation 4. Does it look like I care, little puppet man? Little zipper mouth? Be gone! Go back into hell! I still don't understand why Phoebe looks like she should be a water-type leader. Like, elite Pokemon. And I forgot to read who's coming next. It's obviously gonna be a ghost. It's a Gengar. It's a Dusclops. You don't even have a Dusk, nor is that also like a frickin' Generation... You're gonna fucking use you. I, you're gonna fucking use curse on me, you motherfucker! I'm gonna heal just out of paranoia. It's gonna use fucking curse. It's gonna use fucking curse on Night Fang. Unless it's like immune, but I don't think it is. You know Earthquake! Why? <laughs> okay, out of everything, was not expecting Earthquake! can say that with sincerity, did not expect Earthquake! Probably should have healed. Never mind. I'm just always paranoid that attacks will do like half health. And it low lowers his special defense when it's not needed. Are you gonna, you gonna bite into a citrus berry? You gonna try and save yourself? <laughs> well, too bad, I have a hyper potion. Why rock slide? Did you use, did you s somehow use up all the power points of your... Okay, no, you just decide to use rock slide instead of earthquake for some reason. You... You fuck. <laughs> I... The, the, the frickin' health bar just kept rolling. I'm just like, stop. Stop it. <laughs> stop right there. Cease? Ah, oh, darn. I've gone and lost. Again, why are you dressed like you're ready for a luau when you're a ghost-type trainer? You have flowers on your head, and your eyes look oddly clear compared to the rest of your face. That's a, there's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. Now I need to heal up everyone, cure the paralysis, revive poor Zoom. And uh, then see about whose moves need repairing. We have a few ethers, elixirs, and shit. Do we have any paralysis berries? The music's pretty, pretty nice. We have two paralysis berries. Nobody cares about the labels of gum! Nobody! Nobody! What do you mean has no fucking effect? You little slut? Why? Why can you look at the labels and go up and down the labels? Nobody wants that! Why? I just want to look and use! Weirdo game? Let's see. Uh, Crunch is almost out. Like, I swear, why is it using, like, double power points all of a sudden? Was that somebody's effect that I just didn't notice? 
What the hell is going on? Hmm. I guess I'll leave off you for now, but you probably need a boost to crunch. Because they're just fucking using diddly D all of a sudden. But at the same time, he might not need crunch going in, because Bite did pretty well, all things considered. I'm going to save here, because I am confident in my chances, and I just need some extra... Maybe. I think I should be able to get through just fine. Well, again, I just... I just realized, the early... Like, the early half of the gym leaders in this game kicked my ass. Yet here I am relatively steamrolling through the G Elite Four so far, except for that one Dusclops so who's like, he -de ho I'm going to curse you and then protect and lay me the fuck out. That was annoying. That was weird. But yeah, like, the nose pass from the first gym really destroyed me, or at least destroyed my starter, which was a bad sign in the early game. And then came along Brawly, who also knocked out my starter and I think other Pokemon. Then came Watson, who re forced restarts multiple times. Then Flannery utterly obliterated me with her multi-overheat team. Alright, this is a cool room. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. No, like, no points for guessing what you're about. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I've seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to know in if I could go all out against you. Again, I've like heard nothing about the Elite Four in this game. Why are you kneeling down? Not the blubber monster. We did good against Juan, so I don't think we have too much to worry about. Well, that's going to be an annoyance throughout this entire fight. Kind of annoying that it activates on the turn that you use it. I feel like it should be a setup thing. But at the same time, it does, like, no damage. So, it Jesus Christ, Zoom! Zoom was like, you, you bring hail, I kill you. <laughs> Good job, Zoom. And I did not read who was coming out. I am a fool! I guess I'll bring out Striker, because why not? Let's play funsies. Glaily. Hail continues to fall. Saxton Hail! Just put a bunch of Saxton Hail sprites over everything. Aha! You fool! Okay, now you better not heal your Glalie, or I will be very annoyed by you. Now die! Don't live with one HP like I know you will! Good. Good that you proved me wrong. Good job. It's about to use Celio. I shall leave Stryker out. Stryker hasn't gotten to fight, and this is definitely the one to do it against. Why do you have two Celios? Why is the back of Winnie the Pooh's head on your Celio? But upside down. And why is the PowerPoint usage normal again? Well, seriously, what was with those ghost types that they freaking super used all of my PowerPoints on all of my moves? I feel like that's a cheap tactic in a marathon battle, you fuck. Bite his face off! <laughs> you whore! I knew it. I knew it would happen one of these days. I knew you would come out to try and fuck me. I've already used like 20 of my healings. Oh no. I should have bought more. Why do you have double edge? Why do so many people have double edge at the end of the hole? Please get a crit for daddy. Kill that Celio right now. Kill it now. Good. Good job. You didn't even need a crit. Good job. I forgot that it was super effective and was worried that it was going to live. Another Glalie, huh? You did good against that one Glalie, although they both know Icy Wind, and it's entirely possible that it's going to get lucky and annihilate you. But you can do good. Just go in and annihilate them. Don't give them a chance to do anything. Don't even try to put in the stun. Just kill. 
just kill. Don't put the stun on him because it's basically pointless. Uh, with the game's RNG of lolololol, I'm going to foresee what you're going to do to allow the Pokemon trainer to do protect when you're going to attack and nowhere else. Oh well, look, it paralyzed itself anyway. Isn't that grand? Oh, son of a bitch. Please don't die. Oh! Luckily, the hails can only do like 10 damage. Please don't do 20 damage. Heal, because paranoia. Again, why are like max heals like available now? Aha, uh -huh, I knew, I knew, I knew it. I wasn't gonna risk it. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, and because it's a full restore, it also gets rid of status effects. That is cheats. You Elite Four are using your grander budget against me. Ice Beam! I do have to say, though, Glalie has an interesting design to me. It just... it seems different from other Pokémon. Basically, if Glalie knocks him down to, like, 60 health again, I'll just use a Thunderbolt and get a, get on with it. Then again, Ice Beam... Is it a 5? Hmm... Maybe you'll survive! Give it Paralysis again for funsies! Or just kill it. Damn it. Survive, Striker! Become God! Damn it! You whore! And we shall, I guess, send in, I guess we'll send in Zoom. Again. Zoom is here to hate you to death. Die, Glele. Level up for Zoom. Ha 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 ha. No, we're not going to learn Belly Drum. That takes off half of your health. Hmm, whale ren, huh? Sorry, Zoom, you gotta be a sacrificial again. Because more than likely we're gonna need the bo the girl's striker back again. And the world is mean. Isn't that a one fucking hit move game? Isn't that a nightmare we're going to annihilate you in one move hit game? And headbutt. Make it flinch five million times. Or critical hit it too. And I am assuming this is going to be goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dear. And now we send out Striker. Please don't hit with a sheer cold and knock out Striker too. Thunderbolt! Also, Whalerin is kind of uh, intimidating. Bye bye, Whalerin! Ha 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 ha! Success! You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirit burns! The all consuming I forgot she had more to say. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. And I got more money! Advance to the next room, and there confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Really, if this is mirror, if, if if this mirrors the gym leaders, it should only be easier from here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to revive you first. Poor Zoom. She's just being annihilated because she's like the first one in the in the rotation. I could put somebody else, but they all have typings. Zoom is kind of neutral unless we get to a fighting type person. Bowser. I am the last of the Pokemon League, Elite Four Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me! What are you, Archie's grandfather? You're kind of neat. Ah, shit. 
Wait, isn't are you are you not pot steel? Surf attack! Why? I hate protect. It's such a bullshit lame move. Literally lame. It's just there to be like, ah, ha, ha, we're gonna lame you out. Waste your time, poison you, and throw you out. Okay, that doesn't do much. Darn. Why were you even afraid of Surf if you can read my mind? How about Rock Smash? You're an odd duck. Why Rock Tomb? Why must you be a hell? Survive, Zoom! That... That, 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 that did not do as much as I thought that it was going to do. What the hell? Why did that... Did I not save before coming in here? I am afraid now! Why do you get critical hits? Well, let's see if Headbutt works. Headbutt does work for some reason. I thought you would be like part steel type. Why? Protect is such a lame move. Lame move. Lame move. Why did it miss? Why did you miss? Why are we all missing? Don't you dare. You were a weird duck. Oh no, you fucking don't, you motherfucker. Kill it. Kill it now. Kill it forever. Don't let it. Oh, but it probably knows Earthquake too. Oh no. Thunderbolt. Kill it now. Kill it with its red glowing eyes. Murder it. Throw it to hell. It wasn't even super effective. Why does Dragon Dance raise everything? Thunder Wave! Why do you have such moves? Who had a boner for dragons in this game? Yeah, we're probably gonna fucking die. Unless, perhaps, we get one more move before you, but let me guess, that will raise your speed just enough that you will overtake my speed and you will one-shot me with Earthquake. Kill, please don't survive with one move. One, don't survive with one health, just die. Okay, you are a terrifying beacon of hell and you just stood there and did nothing. Uh, you can stay out, and because I don't know what Flygon's typings are. Dragon bug, dragon flying. Well, let's drag on this out. Oh, that's not good. Why does it have wings if it is ground? Bullshit. Hmm. Uh, let's try nickel then. Aerial ace. All right, so our double team, I guess. Let's try to survive. All right, two flame attacks. All right, so you have two flame attacks. You have earthquake. And what else do you have? Flamethrower, dragon's breath. You are an odd duck. Please don't burn nickel. Double team again. Also, I'll just have you know, I have yet to be missed from my double teams, even though the one double team happening... <laughs> what does a blind playthrough entail? How very odd that I had that very same question last stream from a different account. But basically, playing the game with no prior knowledge, or at least little prior knowledge. Essentially, going in with, like, minimal knowledge of the game and having not played it before. As in, blind. A first-time experience. And again, truly do love that none of my evasions seem to be working, game. Really, really advocating for those stat increases. This is why hardly any of, me, any of my characters use stat moves, because so many of them are worthless. It just never works. 
I wonder if steel's good against dragon. Probably not, but hey, we're gonna be here for a while anyway. Let's try it. Now it's just normal. And a critical hit, because the world decided to give me help! And at least now... Oh yeah, I forgot. You're, you're an Elite Four. You're an asshole. You pull a move that I pull. But except it's my move. Quit stealing my move. At the very least, I don't even know what your fourth move is. Flamethrower, Dragon's Breath, Earthquake. What is your fourth move? Did I just miss it? You are an odd being, Flygon. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Crunch! All right. Either I missed that earlier because I was distracted by something else, or he's only just now decided to use Crunch. That You are a weird duck. Who's next? Salamence. Once again, don't know your typings! And now I have to leave poor Nickel the Burn out. A super cool Pokemon, I just don't know your typings. And, of course, we're going to do the Paranoia Heal. Because you're probably going to get lucky and get a crit, knowing my luck. Once again, got to love my... Got to love my evasions. I raised it to the roof. And this guy's just like, I don't care about your, your, your evasions. So now I just don't know... If, like, my evasion reset, because I don't know that of functionality of this game, or if this guy is just getting extremely lucky. I shall try double team again. And that'll probably be the last one, because I think we're at the evasion roof. And he gets rocks. Why would you use everything but rock slide until the last moment? Please don't kill it with burn to hurt my soul. Thank you, game. And once again, I use evasion move. Game says we're gonna super effect ya. At least they didn't do it back to back. That would have been the real hurt. Please keep missing for at least a decent amount of time. You know, wait one second, I'm gonna check. I want to check the power of fly. 70 versus 60, and it has a chance to miss. Why would I use it? You'd think that they would make the HMs practical in battle. Why does the move that takes two moves to set up... Like, you, you set it up and then you do it. Sure, you're, like, usually not available to be hit... Nine times out of ten when you're using it, but it's still like a move that you you could have done two moves for the price of one when you're using fly. You'd think that it would at least not have a penalty to its accuracy. Ah, uh, thank you, Evasion, for actually working when my poor nickel is burning to death. Now you are the one who gets lamed the fuck out. Now I just imagined what would it be if there was like a Pokemon game with a timer on like moves. That'd be interesting. I forgot. Why? Why are you being a bastard? Like maybe I should just go ahead and use my one Rostberry? All right. I, if he doesn't land a hit, I will use the Rost Berry to end this cycle of pain and torment. Alright, he didn't use a... Uh, it still does a lot of frickin' damage, and it's not even super effective! Why does that do about as much damage as the Rock Slide? You are mean! You are a monster! And I have, like, one Rost Berry, unless I, like misplaced it, I think, or maybe we just ran out of some time. One Rostberry! A single one! And now you're gonna one-shot my bird. 
Okay, you didn't. Thank you. Now die. Now you're gonna one-shot my poor fucking bird. You cured the burn, and now it must die. I'm going to run out of heals. I should have brought more! Then again, most of the time, the, the, these battles are alternating between knuckle drag out back to back smack brawls and ones where one side one shots the other. It's utterly fascinating. Did you just magically, like, raise your defenses all of a sudden? Why do all of your moves do so much goddamn damage while I do hardly any to you, you utter bastard man? Also, this is the generation where dragons, I think, are only super effective against other dragons, and they have no other weaknesses. It isn't until they added fairy, years later, <laughs> that they actually had a dedicated anti. <laughs> Anti-type. You maybe get another crit of steel wing as a for, as a favor? No. Annihilate this dragon. Send him to hell. He is wasting all my power points because he has so much HP for some reason. Then again, I can't really complain because my three tier evasion up has been working wonders. I was going to laugh if he got one last, like, flamethrower out and applied yet another burn on Nickel. That would have been dramatic irony at its finest. Hmm. I'm gonna send out... Oh, Striker's still dead. I forgot. Hey, Luna, you haven't fought anything yet. And you have, like, prime power points to use. I'm sure Dragon is weak to ice. Maybe. Maybe. It's just that there's so few ice-type moves in Pokemon, and even to this day, ice is, like, a super weak move. Or, like, not move. A weak typing. So, like, the only ice, quote-unquote, type that I think I ever used was Suicune and Crystal. Thank you, Luna, for coming in clutch at the end. Superb! It should be said. And then he gave me money. You have, like, five words at your, as you're in thing, whereas the other ones had entire speeches. You deserve every credit for coming as far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go! Go onwards! The champion is waiting! Just in case, first things first. Uh, gotta heal everyone up. Gotta revive Striker. Gotta check everybody's power points to make sure they're at least somewhat topped off. Because we're gonna go fight the Godman. I for I, I don't know who the, the, the champion is in this game. I don't think. Let's see. Who needs power points? Who needs power points the mostest? Uh, you could use a Max Elixir for Headbutt. No, not that. Meh. Let's see. You could use some for... Maybe just one of the plain ethers to get your diddly D back up. Because it's just Thunder. Why do I keep going to item? And... Uh, I guess you could also use just a basic 10 up. And nobody else really got to fight that much. Alright, big one for headbutt, normals for the others. Max Ether for headbutt. And then Elixir for Striker. And Elixir for Nickel. Once again, I apologize, Zoom, but you are a sacrificial lamb. You are a meat shield. We gotta face the goddamn champion man. And fear their might. Alright, it's a long stairway to heaven. Even though it's just the same wall. Oh, Wallace, it's you? 
Welcome, Neon! That incident in Sutopolis City, that was superb work. Putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Champion is Steven, or your rival, I think. Do you do Nuzlocks? Well, apparently you were wrong, because it's Emerald. Because I think, oh yeah, Steven, I think, is the champion in Ruby and Sapphire. I wonder why they changed it to Wallace in this game. But do I do Nuzlocks? Not yet. After I play through, like, the majority of the Pokemon games that I want to, maybe I'll do occasional Nuzlocks. It's just, it's not something that I've ever done, and I haven't played, like, a ton of Pokemon games. So I was like, eh, I'll go do it. Also, it'd be very freaking weird if it was Brendan, my rival in this game, because he just does not feel like a champion material. <laughs> I just, I just realized. We fought Wally at Victory Road instead of him. So it's like... The first generation, you fight Gary throughout the entire game. The second generation, you fight uh, Silver, or whatever his name is, the thief, at Victory Road, I think, at the end. And in this game, you fight Wally at the beginning of Victory Road. That's interesting. Oops! It wouldn't be fair to say that you were alone into the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokémon. We trainers raise Pokémon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokémon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now! Who can most elegantly dance with their Pokémon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now! How fabulous will you be? I beat your, your I beat your uh, your mentor. I had to chuck some water there because six. Oh no! Away, Lord. So you're gonna be. I don't. I don't even know if you go by typing, but uh, smash his face in. It's a light bull. Oh god, it's gonna have so much health. Why do you know Blizzard? How dare you use ice? Ice is a yeah, ma, ma, ma. flinch for the love of God, please flinch. Ah. Bye, Zoom. We loved you dearly. You survived. Good job. So we'll get at least a few hits in. Maybe we can lame this one out too. You are hooked on Blizzard, aren't you? Hooked on a Blizzard? Please don't crit. Okay. Damage variance. Flinch? Ah. When I want you to flinch, you never do, you giant balloon man! Also, I just gotta say, that sprite does not convey... Ah, uh, goddammit. Oh, well. That does not convey, like, the pure size of this monster. All right, Night Fang, let's uh, finish this off, I guess. Pop that balloon. Also, I just realized it. Wallace, you monster! How dare you heal a whale? That is illegal! How would a, uh, a potion even take effect for such a giant Pokemon? Why would you use Rain Dance now? At least it's not hail. Then again, that was that one lady's gimmick, I suppose. Kill the whale. Make him flinch. Oh, critical hit. Good job, Night Fang. Why water spout? Wait, that does damage? I thought that would be a, like, fire moves do less damage kind of move. And why is it... Oh, you stushed it! Once again, my evil nemesis uh, survives with one HP... Because the world is nothing but a bag of bones out to shove me off a cliff. We're gonna heal Zoom. Keep using Water Spout, boy. It's doing great. Again, I... Why did that only do two damage? What the fuck? What is the damage variance of your moves, man? Gotta heal the poor Zoom. This Waylord is weird. Let's see the damage this time. Alright, so it's not all that great a move. Why are you continuing to use it? Is... Is, like, Night Fang immune to ice or something? Or did you run out of Blizzard? I'm confuzzled. Okay, who's next? Tentacruel, huh? 
I know. <gasps> Wait. Yes. Yes. Luna's going to annihilate that part poison type. Water spout is based on the user's HP. That's why I was doing so little damage, because he only had like 5 HP left. That's hilarious. I love it. I forgive you now, Water Spout. You were weird, but you gave me funny ahas. That is hilarious to me. Bye bye. Ludicolo? Ludicolo? Who would kill Ludicolo? I know who could kill Ludicolo. Nickel! If he had full HP, it would have been a strong move. And he was too busy using Blizzard and got down to a bit. And then, <laughs> that's hilarious. He only started using Water Spout once he was like half HP. So I was, <laughs> that took me off guard. It started like decently powerful and then just slowly got worse and he just kept using it. Aerial Ace. Kill this Ludicolo. Send him, uh... Oh, you are mean game. At least I got a critical hit, so I can't be that upset. But I have Aerial Ace, and Aerial Ace never misses! Okay, I can't really fault you. I got a critical hit and super effective that almost killed you, so okay. I'll accept that. But Aerial Ace never misses, you filthy little... I don't even know what you are. Are you like a duck in a poncho with a pineapple hat on your head? What are you? And who are you going to send out next? Melotic. Uh, Striker. Maybe you can... I don't know Melotic much. I just know that you are an absurdly hard Pokemon to get in this game because Feebas only spawns in like five tiles that are randomized and that is 58. Kill. Please. Okay, it's super effective at least. Oh no. If I remember correctly, that absolutely bodied me back in Pokemon Yellow. Okay, never mind. It's just normal poison, okay? If I remember correctly, there was a specific type of poison that was, like, super powerful back in Generation 1. How much you're gonna recover? Alright. I guess I can make progress with that. Striker, strike it down now! But I do have to say that Melotic has lovely hair. Go ahead, recover all you want. I'm gonna whittle you down. <laughs> then again, we're kind of whittling each other down. Me by poison, uh, you by thunder. Now die. One of these days I'll get a critical hit. Then again, I got a critical hit on Ludicolo, so I can't really complain. I really should have used a Paralyze by now. The longer you're poisoned, the more damage... Oh, that's what poison does! It's a very... Okay, that's actually very interesting. I did not know. Okay, we're gonna quickly paralyze you, and then we're gonna uh, first heal, then uh, bury. Oh, nope, we're gonna... You're gonna kill Striker. Okay. I wasn't expecting you to actually attack. Well, at least <laughs> heal the poison that way. Okay, Shane, your turn. I never knew that about poison. I think it's mostly because most of my fights aren't as long, so whenever I'm poisoned, it doesn't get to that point. <laughs> You're pa para oh! I was gonna have happy fun times, and then you had to go and eat a citrus berry. But now you should die! But you learn new things every day. Then again, it's hard to keep track in some Pokemon games because, like, they kind of go all over the place and change things. Will you kindly die? You, you're gonna run out of power points for recover eventually, right? Because I think they added power points to trainers by now. Maybe I should just use fucking Giga G G G Drain. I should probably use just Giga Drain, huh? Ah, Giga Drain! Quit being a stone wall and die. Or be just. Alright, you're gonna use Toxics. I need to heal that eventually. But I'm going to try and uh, get in there before you recover. But I'm going to try and heal my poison before it gets out of a whack. Worst comes to worst, I can always... Please. Aha! Bye-bye, Melodic. You were an effective stone wall against me with your recover. 
kind of silly that it recovered more HP than my super effective attacks, but... And I forgot to read who was coming next. I am a fool. I'll just send Luna out. She's super strong. Watch it be like a dark type somehow. No, it's a ground type. I probably should have left Shane out to kill you. Psychic. Suffer the power of my... A critical hit! <laughs> Luna decided to come in swinging. I just recently learned about Pokemon EVs and IVs, and I've played all the Pokemon games. I've known about EVs and IVs for a while, but I don't know, like, the specifics about them. Let's see, uh, did we revive Striker? We did not revive Striker. Alright, Luna, you're the strongest one because you can You leveled up the team with the experience share, so you get to kill this Gyarados. Through the power of Nintendo 64, you will die! <laughs> Let me guess. You're gonna use a heal, aren't you? Hyper Beam! I should have expected this! I was expecting you to heal, though. Is that gonna one-shot? Motherfucker got a crit! That's very mean of you, game. Now you're probably going to heal to spite me, aren't you? Okay, good. Oh, does Reed, that mean that you can't use, like, items on a, a Hyper Beam Recharge? <laughs> okay, and now the game decided I got Baxi's with a critical hit return. Oh, that's great. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so, and yet it was utterly glorious. You have uh, two turns now, though. Yep, because <laughs> I forgot. It's because I was I ran into other moves. I was like, oh my god, that's so much power, and then it just like wasn't a double like recharge. And I also don't think I ran into a hyper beam this entire game until then, and it one shotted my poor Luna. Kudos to you, Neon. You are truly a noble Pokemon trainer. And I got a ton of money for that! The Pokémon you sent into battle. At times, they danced like a spring breeze, and at times, they struck like lightning. Literally, because Striker. It was with that light, yet sure-footed elegance, that led your Pokémon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokémon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Don't you fucking dare. Neon, how would you like some advice before you challenge the champion? Don't you dare. Neon, are you trying to tell me you've beaten the champion? Okay, good. We're not, it doesn't look like we're going to fight Brendan. Whoo! See? What did I tell you, Brendan? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Neon? Neon, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Pedalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion! Ah, <laughs> yes! What became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Mm hmm? So you've seen 147 Pokémon and you've caught 45. This is coming along pretty good. Keep up the effort! Well done, I wish I was here for the beginning of this, but I can say at least I was here for the very end, yeah. <laughs> it would have been amusing for you to see, because the... Because the first half of the game... With the first four gym leaders, they kicked my ass. Especially Watson and his evil stone, not stone, not stone type, steel type. Steel type, uh, I already forgot. Meg Magneton, yeah. Brain is on fire. And then overheat on all four Pokemon from Flannery. And then I just had a decent time against the other gym leaders. And I don't know why. Maybe it was because I had access to revives by then. But it didn't feel like they were as shenanigan-y. Except for uh, Win Winona's Alteria. Because it was a mean monster. It hurt poor Striker. Anyway, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Neon. No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion! Come with me. I was so worried there for a moment. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. Are the VODs still available on your channel? The VODs are going up every two days now. I do believe that my 
Watson episode is up. So yeah, like there, all of these will eventually go up on YouTube, the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel. Slowly but surely, every two days, if I do not forget to upload. Yes, they will all be available. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. What? Can't be helped if that's the rule. Neon, way to go. Congratulations. You didn't believe in me for like the majority of this. In this room, this is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles, but not their trainers, because fuck them. It is here that the League Champions are honored. In a giant, like, all your base belong to us computer. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. And it took us about an hour to get through that. Not bad. <laughs> Saving. Don't turn off the power. And let's see those credits. Zoom the Lanoon! Luna Gardevoir! Striker the Manetric! Nickel the Swallow! Nightfang the Mighty Ena! And Shane Septile! Welcome to the Hall of Fame! <laughs> League Champion, congratulations! Nice, I found them. We'll be a nice watch while I'm working. Do you play post-game? I don't know how much of the post-game there is, because I've, again, never played this game before, so I don't know exactly what the post-game is. I think there's, like, the Battle Tower, and, of course, like, capturing, uh, like, Kyogre and uh, Groudon and Rayquaza. So I'll, I might look into catching the, like, I definitely want to try out the Battle Tower. But I'm not sure if I really care to catch the Legendaries unless there's stuff to them. I think that's mostly because I'm still a little burned out from catching the Legendary Dogs. But I guess while the credits play, I will give my thoughts on the base, on the, the base experience before whatever post-game happens. This is probably the most difficult base Pokemon game that I remember playing. It really kicked my ass. Is this actually showing all, like, the Pokemon? No, I, I was going to wonder if it was, like, showing all the Pokemon that I've caught. But no, it's, like, showing all the Pokemon that I've ran into. It would have been neat if it actually showed all of your stuff. Yeah, Battle Tower and Catching Legendaries. And Deoxys. Oh, Deoxys. I didn't know Deoxys. I thought Deoxys was... Oh! Deoxys is an event thing for, like, uh, Leaf Green, Fire Red, and I, I think I knew that. I do, I, I like this little, like, cutscene, like, what's the word? End credits animation that plays here. Nice and simple, I didn't, I liked that, like, you turn to face your rival as they ride on past you. But yeah, I didn't know that Deoxys is like a base game catchable Pokemon in this one. But, yeah, we will definitely try the... Battle Tower, it will probably kick my ass. And then we might look into at least trying to catch the legendaries. But overall, this game is probably the hardest normal Pokemon game that I've played. Because it caused me to reset a ton on certain gym leaders. But it could have just been that I didn't grind levels enough or have like proper planning. Because that was mainly Watson's problem. If <laughs> Flannery was just shenanigans with her practically one-hit kill move overheat on all four of her Pokemon. <laughs> but I think it may be for Leaf Green. It's been a while. Yeah, because I think that there are events... Because I know there's at least a, like, hidden island map event for Leaf Green and Fire Red that take you to an island to catch Dioxus. And then there's another one for this game, and I think also the Gen 1 remakes for catching Mew as well. But uh, Pokemon Platinum is a hard game. Oh, the, I don't know why that's neat. I like that. The music lead up to that. But Pokemon Platinum is like uh, one of my... It's been forever. From what I remember, it was a childhood favorite of mine because I had Pokemon Pearl... Because basically I went Pokemon Blue as a child... 
and Pokemon Gold as a child, and then later on for Christmas, I got, like, Pokemon Pearl, and I liked that so much that my family then got me Pokemon Platinum. It was ages ago. But I completely forget most of what happened in Sinnoh, so that'll be a fun experience, especially because I've been a replaying Pokemon Legends Arceus on my own time, and it is such a fantastic Pokemon game. I love it. But... Yeah, this is probably the hardest Pokemon normal game that I've played. Maybe Platinum will kick my ass. We'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, this is a very fun experience. A little wonky here and there. Like, again, the four overheats on four Pokemon from Flannery. Watson was mostly just my poor planning. I still think that the double, the, the double team, like, children gym cheated because they didn't follow double battle rules. Instead of each of them having two Pokemon, they had a collective of four, unlike all other double battles, where each trainer had one, two, or three. So you couldn't wipe out one side of their, uh, like, their side, like, one side, and have that be a 1v2. Like, I kind of understand if that would be a normal thing, where the other trainer would be like, here, have my spare Pokemon, but no, it's only for the gym leaders. That's illegal, they broke the rules, they are children, and they need to be fired. But... Other than that, I did kind of notice that the game was kind of prediction-y. Like, again, <laughs> with that stupid Dusclops that's like, Haha, I'm going to use Protect when you use Attack on me. And other times where it felt like my stat effects were less, like, considered less by the game than... Uh, bop, bop, bop. Considered less by the game than the enemies. Like, it feels like the enemies' evasion increase had more effect than my evasion increases against them. Uh, except for that, like, one time that my Swello just, like, I am immortal up here. <laughs> but those were rare. And then, of course, all the times that I tried to use Sand Attack, and the game was like, no, no, no. Sand Attack against enemies does nothing. Sand Attack against you, you miss all the time. I do feel like it's slightly weighted against me. But let's see. We'll at least first try out the- Oh, we're back home! Mom might like this program. Again. Dad, you're here for once! Huh? Hey, it's Neon! It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, well, yes, I, I have something for you. This came from to you from someone named Mr. Briny. The SS? D I can go to Kanto? Huh? A ticket for a ferry? If I recall, there's a ferry port at Slateport and Lily Cove. I wonder where it goes. I better get back to- I better get back to the Pedalberg Gym. Uh, Mom! Thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. <laughs> he didn't even say your name! That's- uh, that dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in a while, but all he talks about is Pokemon. You should relax and stay a little longer. Is that the breaking news story? It's me, probably. We bring you this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locales, there have been reports of bzzz colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return you to the regular movie, so it was uh, probably Rayquaza. Neon, did you catch that? What color did the announcer say the Pokemon was? Latios and Latias! Latios and Latias! Yeah! Well, isn't that something? There's still unknown Pokemon. Mom, you're blocking me in! Hey, Birch! Well, well, Neon! That was good work out there! I knew there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this! Oh, yes. Do you still have the Pokedex I gave you? <laughs> Off he goes to get milk, <laughs> and never to return. He's gonna help too many Wallies catch a bunch of Ralts. I have something to show you. Let's go back to my lab. Now, Neon and Brendan, I've had the two of you help me study Pokemon. That's to your, thanks to your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that in Hoenn region, there are also Pokemon from other regions. It goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. And that's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your Pokedex to the national mode. Here, let me see your Pokedex units. So now probably new Pokemon are going to show up, slash we're going to have more access to places that have new Pokemon. I went out all over Hoenn and checked out Pokemon. You can thank me for getting the National Mode Pokedex. Yep, you're lucky, Neon. I am the champion! 
Okay, all done. National mode! But listen, you've become the champion, but your Pokemon journey isn't over. There's no end to the road that is Pokemon. Somewhere, there's a grassy patch that's waiting for you. That sounds like a threat. For the time being, I'm taking a break from field work. I'll be helping out the professor for a while. He's your dad. But listen, you become Pokemon, but your journey isn't over. There's an end of every beep it up. Alright, so now Latias is in play. Who is it? Hi, hi, Neon. It's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS Tidal now. It feels great to be on the sea. By the way, there's this place that I'd like to invite you to for a visit. If you're interested, board a ferry at either Slateport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on details when we meet. I'll be waiting. If you like puzzles, you'd enjoy the three Reggie legendaries. I forgot that they're in this game. Oh, I actually found some of them, but I forget exactly where they are. I, except for one. Pokemon in detail? Sir, check all Pokemon in detail. What's this? What's this? I don't understand. <laughs> Match call. But yeah, I think there's like one over here to the side, or was it over here? Hmm. But I don't know where all the Reggies are. But before we do anything, I'm going to quickly fly off to the battle place and see if the battle tower is open. Let's see, where is the battle tower? It was in Mauville, above Mauville. We'll quickly check the battle tower, see if it's open or not. Do you know if it's open? Do you see a time board there? My friends and I are trying to see who can reach the top in the least time. We'll quickly heal our Pokemon here, as this uh, just to set our, like, heal zone, I suppose. And we'll try the battle tower. And then I guess we'll go and see Scott on the SS whatever. And uh, I guess I'll quickly restock. Well, let's see. What do you even have to sell? I'm going to buy a, a good chunk of things because I... Re I used a bunch of my heals, and I don't think... Well, actually, we'll have to wait and see what the rules are for the Battle Tower. Because I do not know them. I use, like, the majority of my money winning the diddly D. Let's see. Normal, Variety, Unique, and Expert. Hmm. I don't like that it goes up to an hour. Welcome, this is the Trainer Hill, where you may join tag battles with many trainers. Is this your first time visit? Before you enter, please save your game. Alright, I'll do it. I won't, I won't be shenanigans. I won't be shenanigans, I'll do it. This is for fun. If we get annihilated, so be it. Let's see, the trainers here now are... They appear to be trainers gathered in every room. Would you like to challenge the waiting trainers? Info. Here at the Trainer Hill, we conduct an event called Time Attack. It is a race that measures how long you take to reach our owner on the rooftop from this counter. The fastest times are posted on the time board. Try competing with your friends. and trainer battles along the way, neither experience points nor money will be rewarded. Would you like to challenge? Sure. Let's do normal. I'll, I'll time your progress. Best of luck. On your marks, get set, go! Uh, okay. What? Aha. So it's like a marathon course as well. Interesting. I didn't expect this. Oh. I never take a train. Oh, I, oh no, the, the weird lines are back. You can choose not to believe. You dare not take a train? You make Ingo cry and for that I will murder you. I should have plotted my thing a bit better. Well, I guess we'll quickly take out one side and then worry about the mischievous later. Oh no, are they all leveled to the highest level Pokemon in your team? Oh no, that's not good.
I think I might be screwed. Shows me for overleveling, I guess. So they seem to be leveled to the highest level Pokemon in your party. That's not good for me. And I think that's the end of Luna. Nope, I get the miracle of surviving on one hit point. <laughs> Considering that everybody's gonna be like 10 levels higher than me normally, I think I'm gonna let myself get wiped out. Because I'm probably not gonna make it anyway. Kind of shenanigans, but eh, what can you do? Why is a ghost type no psychic? Kind of weird, but okay. I guess that does make kind of sense to make them the same level as the highest level Pokemon. I personally would have gone with more of an average instead, so that there's like a, a like it's not crazy, but at the same time, people could then. But then people could probably manipulate it, so I guess I understand why they did it this way. I will have to level up my team and come back and deal with this another time. But we can't exactly just quit. We have to die. Which basically means I'm going to have to power level everybody else and not use my Gardevoir as a, heal as a, as a leveling machine. Knowing that certain doom awaits me somehow makes this easier to take. And plus, since you don't, like, gain uh, experience or... Well, ain't you just a rude motherfucker. But yeah, well, the, this place might be interesting once I'm actually of even level. Would have been nice if they told... Well, maybe they did say, but I don't think they did. I don't think they said, oh, by the way, all of the trainers will be of uh, the same level as your highest level Pokemon. Seems a bit shenanigan -y, if you ask me. Understandable, but still shenanigan. I, th I think I know what I would personally have done for the Battle Tower instead of this. I would have made it a thing where, like, they have vari variant levels based on where your, like, head person's level is. So, like, five up, five down. And, like, that ten level area, they'd have some Pokemon here, there, and everywhere. So that would be variety. Wouldn't help me here, but it would at least make it interesting. As opposed to everybody is Nintendo 64. Why does a rock no fire? Rock fire no jutsu. <laughs> it is kind of shenanigan-y. Like, I already expected, like, the Battle Frontier stuff to uh, get crazy. Because I remember seeing a post that's like... <laughs> Somebody went and did, like, a big ol', like, research of a certain, like, frontier battle. And they're like, like, I ex expended save states vigorously, and the AI is evil. If you have rare conditions, you can level up all your team. Oh, rare candies. I did that earlier when my, uh, I had a bunch of rare candies, and I needed to level them up for a gym fight, I think. And I was like, ah, oh, screw it, I'll do it here. I don't think I have any other candies, though.
So, we'll still have to see about seeing what Scott has to say, but more than likely... I'm feeling supersonic on my bike! A supernatural power has come! That was too bad. I think you put a tremendous effort in your battling. Please come back and try again. Let me check all my Pokémon. They are all back to healthy. They didn't take my money. That's good. Yeah, so the only things I have... Well, let's see. Where's the Weather Institute? I want to see if they have anything to say. Where would the... I think the Weather Institute is... Up here, I think? We'll quickly check out the Weather Institute because I feel like that place is important. Why is it still raining here? Uh, you have some in your PC. I don't think I do. I used them all up. Fairly certain. On the second floor of the Institute, we study weather patterns over the Hoenn region. We've been noticing temporary and isolated cases of droughts and heavy rain lately. So that's, yeah, the information on where Kyogre and everything is. I wonder where the Latias is. I guess we'll go to Lily Cove and fly off. I will go ahead and check my PC. That would be interesting if, like, you won the Pokemon League. Have a million rare candies. I don't think so. Oh, hey, Hall of Fame for some reason. Berries, 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 sunstone, deep scale. Nope. This is all my extra stuff that was in the way. I forgot my I forgot why I put berries in here. Get back in my bag. I think maybe I put them in there if it's like, oh, if I use all the berries, I won't be able to get more berries. Even though I don't do the berry stuff. But nope, no rare candies. Like maybe I would have put maybe in the past I put rare candies in there in one of the VODs, but then I don't know. Then I took them out. There's also, like, the contest hall, but I don't think that's interesting. Gotta find the... Where's the port? And at least try that. See what Scott has to say. And hopefully he doesn't lead me into hell of uh, grander types. Surprise! You're going to the battle frontier to be annihilated by AI shenanigans. Hello, are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? Flash the ticket. Perfect, that's all you need. And where would you like to go? Uh, it's... One second. <laughs> uh, uh, we're just gonna go to Slateport? Is it... <laughs> Alright, that's kind of interesting. I guess let's go to Slateport and I'll wander around the ferry, I guess. Oh, uh, was it just stuck on exit? My bad. I would like to go to Slateport. Then board the ferry and wait for departure. On ROMs, they're sometimes baked into PCs. Oh! Yeah, I didn't buy, get a, like, ROM hack or anything. Well, hi, hi, neon, neon, something's come up, so I, uh, so I have to disembark, but I'm glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion! There's a place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier. The only reason I know the Battle Frontier is in this game is because of the anime, I think. What's the place? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken to the ship's captain about this. The next time you take a ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Neon, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Battle Frontier, Battle Frontier, Battle Frontier. Do you have anything else to say? We hope you enjoy your voyage on the ferry. Well, first things first, I'm going to move Luna down because we need to level up everybody to Luna's level to have any freaking chance. I feel a little silly, but we'll show you our lovey-dovey power. I'm going to throw you off this boat and watch you drown. Love Disc and Love Disc. You are going to be annihilated. You think you can challenge me? I am the League Champion! Annihilate them. Destroy them all! Flatios, I remember you uh, You need a low-level Pokemon in your team slot and run around in grass. Alright. I wonder what constitutes as low-level. I definitely have them, though. I guess we'll have a use for you yet, Archie. Um, Archie is my Meryl. I just named him that because I figured it would be funny. And then he was just uh, kind of useless to me. 
It's empty. All the trash cans are empty. Do they want to discourage children from running around digging into trash? But I suggest having a Pokemon with Arena Trap because it runs away after the first move. Oh no. I don't have an Arena Trap. At all. And I I do have, like, uh, some uh, heart scales that I could go to the move tutor for, I guess. I don't even know what he does. Ah, oh, you've come just in time. I'm bored, you see. You may, you may entertain me. Is that a euphemism? Why do I always think that the young lad, rich child sprite looks like a man? But I guess I could always try and uh, find... Uh, hmm. No matter what I do, I'm going to have to power level a Pokemon if I... Uh, it's a level under its level, I'm sure. So like a low-level Pokemon compared to Latios. <laughs> a Diglett. So like a Diglett would have Move Trap. I... Oh, an ability! Ah... It's hard to tell sometimes, because <laughs> sometimes ability sounds like moves, and moves sound like abilities. <laughs> Why are you making it rain indoors? Do you have no care for the upholstery, young lad? You survived twice at low, low health, you monster! Of course I miss, because the world is evil. And you're just going to kill yourself! You are a fool! That will do. You are a maniac. You're gonna be the next American Psycho, aren't you? Now I just need to know where a Diglett could be found. And then plot my way to smack up Latios Latias. Are your friends strong? Eh. But I guess what I could do... Uh, true, or you can put it to sleep and try catching it from there, but I don't have anybody that has hypnosis. I guess I could always try to catch a Ralts and... get it up to the point that it could use hypnosis, but I'll have to, I'd have to take a look at, like, its move list. None of my Pokemon are really built for catching runaway Pokemon in this game. All of my Pokemon are built for attack, 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 attack. <laughs> Your friends are indeed strong. No, I just had the move that would, uh, like, flip the doo on you and you lose. I'm the winner. Anything in your trash? Nope, it's empty. Why even have a, a trash can sprite if it's empty all the time? Go visit other caverns. Trainers aboard of the boat trip will be itching to fight. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Briny. I'm going to kill some people. Oh, hi. I'm not acting suspicious. Uh, you can have this for free. I also, I didn't snatch it from someone. I never do such a thing. It's clean. You can use it. You are a weird man. Or I could... <laughs> Hmm. I do have the Master Ball, though. If I really just hated hunt hunting down the flying Pokemon, I could just use the Master Ball on Latias. Child, did you knock on the door? No, I came in here because I'm here to kick your ass. Gentleman Thomas. That was Angus. I never did catch a Zangus, I don't think. And immediately my mind went, hey, dumbass, if you caught it, it would have a Pokeball symbol under its name. And I look, and it's like, oh, it's not there. Hope you don't mind, but I checked Google for Latios. No, no problem, since it's a runaway Pokemon. <laughs> when it comes to, like, certain uh, annoyances, I don't mind people, I, like, being like, hey, just say no, here. Because, like, basically, when it comes to backseat gaming, you can always say, hey, do you want information on X? And then you can say, uh, and then if I say yes, you can give it, yeah. 
The easiest way to see Latios Latias for the first time is to first fly to Slateport City. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly... I'm just gonna Google something. I'm gonna quickly Google... What the best, uh, best legendary for the Master Ball? Because I probably a lot of people like do it on the Runaway Pokemon. Who should I use my Master Ball on an Emerald? Definitely Latios because it's pretty hard to run into, so you want to make sure to catch it. Latios, Rayquaza, if you don't have Pokemon, uh. Oh, Latios, if you don't have Arena Trap Shadow Tag. Rayquaza, if you do have Pokemon with those abilities. So everyone's just saying, Latios. Yeah, Latios. Latios. <laughs> Once there, put a Pokemon with a certain level. Make sure it is above 13 and below 40 as first conscious member of your party. Once that is done, go to the route above Slateport, 110, and spray Max Repel. Oh, yeah, because I remember that. Uh, that I remember hearing about that technique where... you. Repel will keep lower level Pokemon of the, yeah, the leader in the party away. But other Pokemon who are higher level can still get through. We'll beat up everyone on this floor and then we'll talk to Briny. Oh, you're such an adorable trainer. Would you like to have tea? Or would you rather battle? Is that a euphemism? But yeah, we'll definitely go catch Latios with our Master Ball. Because... <laughs> Why not? I'm fairly certain that I can take on Kyogre, Rayquaza, and everything. I see. You're the active sort. But yeah, since there's only one runaway Pokemon in this game, I think we will do it on that one. I enjoy attending contests, you see. Hmm. So, da da da. What? Why do you have a full team? They're low level, but still. But yeah, I have an idea of what I shall do for the rest of this stream. We will go and we will catch Latias. We will go and catch Latias with the Master Ball. It's some other way to find the legendary birds and dogs in other Pokemon games. Ish, except. <laughs> uh. At least for the first generation, the legendary birds didn't fly around. They stuck in one place. Maybe they, like, that happened in a different Pokemon generation or game where, like, here's some legendary birds. They fly around. Why is that skinny so much higher level than before? What? This man is a monster. But yeah, it also doesn't help, like, uh, that in, like, Pokemon Crystal, I think I built my team a bit better because I felt like I trusted the game to be at least a bit fair. And I also kind of knew that I was going to go up against the legendary dogs. So I had some Pokemon that had like sleep, hypnosis and stuff. So that I could have extra chances at catching them. But since there's only one, I know who I'm using my Master Ball on. Why bye bye. You are an odd man with your six skitties. Is it going to be the skitty evolution at the end? Let us see. But, yeah, what we will do is we will finish off this boat, talk to Briny, go up to Slateport, go to 110 with a Pokemon that fits the level requirements. We will run into Latias. We will catch Latias with the Master Ball because shenanigans no jutsu. And then we will then go to the Battle Frontier to at least see what it's about. Trying to learn Charge. What is that? It doesn't matter to me. Charge's power to, uh, to boost the electric move used next. The problem is, I don't know if that's worth it. Do I want to charge my next attack, or do I want to attack twice in a row? Considering that Thunderbolt can cause paralysis, I might as well just attack twice in a row. Goodbye, charge. Uh, leveling. <laughs> I'm just not one to use, like, moves like that. That was an enjoyable match. You are a good person. Hello, Pico. Welcome aboard, Neon. They made me honored captain, honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny now. 
You know I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let me just say it stirred me sleeping soul as a sailor. Good for you, Briny. We'll continue on annihilating people. Arr, I'm fed up and dog tired of cleaning this huge place. Let's have a quick battle. Then you have to clean up the aftermath of the battle. Unless you're dead. Not the Tentacruel. And I can't even send out Luna to fight him because I need to level up everybody else to Luna's level to do the battle tower. I wonder what the battle front. Oh, I hope the battle frontier sets levels. Because I don't want a repeat of the battle tower. I go in there, everybody is level 64. I'm just like, yay, I can't do the battle frontier at all. That would be kind of funny, but also just kind of painful. But we'll just have to see what happens. Flinch more, giant octopus. I've kind of ha uh, attained a complex of Tentacruel and Tentacool because they are annoying to capture in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I just cannot sneak up on... Why was why did you have that face? Die. How dare you look at me like that? How dare you not be very effective? Oh yeah, you're gonna fucking kill Night Thing because he's... I forgot. I forgot for whatever reason Night Thing is like annihilated by fighting types. Then... Nickel. The amusing. I still don't understand why flying is super effective against fighting, but I do find it amusing. Now kill him. Kill him now. I always joked that it was because fighting types can't punch birds. Little bro, I lost! You didn't even say anything about a little bro. You just said... I'm getting sick of cleaning this. I, let's have a fight. What's wrong with you? Are you insane? Do you need to take your meds? Do I need to throw you overboard and watch you die? Oh no, this is Metal Gear Solid now. This is the bottom of the ship's hull. There's plenty of room. It'll be all right for a Pokemon battle, he says as we are in a tiny corridor. Do -do 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 Legends Arceus is a good game concept, but I never enjoyed battling the boss Pokemon. I really enjoyed it. I do think that some of the boss battles, uh, like, against the nobles could be a bit wonky, but I really enjoyed it. I think it is one, it, is, it is probably my favorite, quote-unquote, main, like, l mainline Pokemon game, because for some reason they throw it out there as a mainline Pokemon game, despite the fact that it doesn't really feel like one. I mean, it kind of does, kind of doesn't. I would have preferred a normal turn-based battles. But at the same time, I feel like that really breaks up the game a bit because they already have, like, uh, depending on, like, how you play the game, you might have already fought a bunch of Pokemon by then to be, like, see their moves, to capture them. So they wanted to also not only add something different, but also really show up the nobles as being interesting and different from normal Pokemon. Especially because later on you can run into, like, normal versions of those Pokemon. Like, you can, at some points, run into, like, somebody using their own Sneasler and l evolve your own Ursaluna and stuff. So making the nobles unique in that aspect that... You can't just beat them in a Pokemon battle. You have to actually quell their fury. Does make it more interesting and takes advantage of the game system. Did you catch Arceus in the end game? I, I got to the point where I beat Volo and was supposed to look for the like final few Pokemon at the end. But then I fell off playing it because of depression and life and blah. But if I ever do make my way back around to Legends Arceus through this Pokemon playthrough, and I feel like playing through Pokemon Legends Arceus again, I will definitely go all the way through. Oh, that's who he's referring to. They're brothers down here. 
But yeah, I did like 90% of Legends Arceus and then stopped at the very end because life is pain. But yeah, I really enjoy Pokemon Legends Arceus. Aside from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, it's probably my favorite Pokemon, like, alternate, not really mainline. But at the same time, they're kind of... In, like, the, the, the 3D games are ve feel very different in the mainline compared to the old ones. I really need to get to those ones eventually. I think the only 3D Pokemon game that I played in the quote-unquote mainline was X or Y. I forget which one. It'll be some time before we make land. You can rest up in your cabin. Your cabin's number two. The bed is soft there. Oh, I have to actually click on it. I can't just step into my bed. This ferry is built to plow through fast-running currents. We hope you enjoyed your voyage with us. Feel free to explore the ship. Why did you say that? I'm terrible at throwing the balls to quell anger of the nobles. Me, I just spammed them. Just throw, 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 dodge, throw, 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 dodge. But I can understand why some people might not like the more action-oriented boss battles. Have you played the new Gen 9 yet? No, I have not. The only Pokemon games of the mainline that I've played have been Pokemon Blue and then Yellow on stream, Pokemon Gold, and then I played Crystal on stream... Right now, of course, Pokemon Emerald. I got to the credits, at least. I played uh, Pokemon Blue Rescue Team on stream, as well as my own, like, years ago. I played Pokemon uh, Explorers of Sky ages ago, and I plan to stream it as well. I beat Platinum and P Pearl ages ago, but plan to play per uh, Platinum on stream again. Then I played a little bit of X or Y but I don't think I got all the badges. I did get Sylveon, and I really enjoyed the, like, uh, Pokemon Ami, like, minigame thing. Like, playing minigames with Pokemon, like, groom your pro Pokemon, that was fun. But I've never played Pokemon Black and White. I haven't played Sword or Shield. I haven't played Scarlet and Violet. But I want to eventually. I want to eventually. There'll be some time before we make land. You can rest up in your cabin if you like... Uh, but I already rested. Do I have to rest multiple times? I guess that's their way of being like, hey, you, you want to fight everyone, but you need to... Like, you took a lot of damage, then go ahead. Well, let's rest again, I suppose. Or did that, like, respawn everybody to fight? Let's see. If it respawned everyone to fight, that would be interesting, but doubtful. Nope, I can't believe it. A lovey dovey power failed. You must be an awesome trainer. Obviously, my lovey-dovey power exceeds that of yours. We've made land in Slayport. Thank you for sailing with us. Well, actually, <laughs> we're at Slayport. This worked perfectly. All right, first things we need to do is we need to get a above 13, below 40 Pokemon... I'm terribly sorry, our dear Luna, but you need to be put in the box until everyone is leveled up to your state. Sword and Shield is terrible. I heard that a lot of people liked it, but I also heard that they, like, changed things. It was hard to tell. I heard more about the, oh no, the tree in the trailer than anything about the actual game. Let's see. Above 13, below 40... Come along, you, I guess. I'll eventually give it my own shot to experience it myself and judge it myself. Because sometimes I'm not as, like, mean to some games as others, but sometimes I also dislike games that others like. And I have a Master Ball. So we're going to quickly save, and we are going to... Head up to Route 110, spray mask max repel, and search for Latias. Hell, if anything, we might actually catch Latias and use it in our team. If it's good enough. Route 110.
Okay, we out Route 110. Not Pokey Nav, Pokey Bag. I want to go up and then click, silly game. And now, where is it? Where is uh, the Max Repel? Max Repel used. Let us see. It's too easy story wise, the dens are kind of fun. Interesting. For me, I don't think I care that much about, like, too easy or too difficult. Well, maybe too difficult. It depends. It depends exactly on, like, how difficult it is. Let's see. Come on, come out and face me. Because I had above 13, below 40. Come on, Latias. Ah, uh, Repel's effect worn off. One of these days, I'm going to expect chat to be like, Ah, yes, let me help you, and then it's actually a troll. It would be amusing, depending on the situation. Because we are in Route 110. Let's try, maybe travel somewhere else on Route 110, because this entire section is Route 110. Then again, maybe I just need to be more patient. I probably should have t paid more attention to the beginning. Like, there's a Pokemon of color flying around. And then your mother's like, did you hear what color it is? It's like, literally no. Then you have to make something up, and then it turns out to be real. Protagonist of Generation 3 is Reality Warper confirmed. Nope. I'll try to step on all of them. That's the secret. It's like a magical code. Step on every blade of grass, you summon the grass god. He comes to kill you. It's basically poison ivy. Why are these guys doing a jig? Oh! I for... I, I guess... I guess uh, dudes doing a jig is them uh, prepared to fight you again. Alrighty. My bad. We shall send... <laughs> I did not know. This is the first time that I've gotten a rematch match, because I've never bothered to, like, walk anywhere. Shows me for not, like, being knowledgeable. Luckily, this shouldn't level up Sableye any. We shall destroy the Nipple Leaf. And then we will continue looking for uh, the deer, Latios, Latios. How dare you make the bird flinch? How did you go first? You are so low level, you should be dead just by me looking at you. This should be like Bleach, the anime manga. My power should destroy you. I shouldn't even need to touch you for you to die. Latios, where art thou? Maybe I need to swim. Maybe it wants me to swim. Obviously, that's why there's water here. And plus, that makes it every step a potential encounter. Hmm. Maybe I need a lower level Pokemon? Maybe. Above 10, below 40, but maybe if I have it be low enough, it'll be better. Might have to buy more Max Repels, but oh well. Let's aim for something more in the 20 range, then. 
Goodbye. You have been demoted to box. Maybe you. Well, take Absol. You are now our hunter. You shall hunt Latios with us. We got them in Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. It should not be that much difficult. Or at least we got one of them. No, not you. Full game. Stopping one short. Congratulations, Fate. You have a role to play. I do like the music in this game, at least. So uh, while we run about using many max repels... Would have been funny if, like, the first grass I stepped in... Suddenly legendary! Fight me, legendary. Fight me right now. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, I forgot. The tentacle of the water is stupid and have like a billion level variants. Can't escape. I'm gonna fuck your eye. Why does the water have such level variants? Come on, Latias. I'm searching for you, and these guys are back doing a jig for some reason. Does he want to rematch immediately now? Latias. <laughs> it's like... It's like uh, Luigi's Mansion. Mario! Mario? Mario! Except for Latias. Because I know it's a legit technique. We literally confirmed it with that tentacle. Hmm. Would have been nice if, like, the game immediately also gave you the Pokemon tracker like Crystal did. It's like, here's where the moving Pokemon go. But I think you then have to, like, run into the Pokemon first, maybe? You're kind of being mean, game. Hmm. I shall quickly double check. Location. Da da da. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Interesting. This guide says you should try the Safari Zone to swap zones a lot. Oh, maybe that's why it didn't work. I didn't fly to Slateport, maybe. Maybe that's why things didn't work. Entirely possible. I don't know how this functions. Fly to Slateport, then go up, and then we will see. Because maybe flying to Slateport jury rigs the AI of the game. But this might not work. Come on, game. It is kind of weird that you need to run into it first, apparently, to begin to track it. You feel like the game would be nice and be like, I don't know, Captain Stern or somebody comes in and they're like, heedily he thing here, and then you can go and track a Pokemon. Then again, this Pokemon, like, the third generation feels kind of like the we're gonna throw legendaries all over the place, hope you find them. Mystery, whoa.
So yeah, it seems like it's not here. I feel like we've run, run into it. So what we're going to do... ...is we shall fly to Moss Deep... ...buy a bunch more Max Repels... ...I will try to remember where the... ...higgledy piggledy... Uh, Google says it could take around 30 minutes to encounter it. That seems dumb. <laughs> but I guess we shall try that. It feels very silly. That feels even sillier than, like, the actual, like, uh, b -b 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 the fleeing dogs. Because this guide says, like, you want to go to the Safari Zone, use a rappel, walk around, and then after a few battles, if Latios hasn't appeared, exit and enter again to change their position. Every time you change areas, Latios moves to a new route. The goal is to keep doing this until it appears in the grass outside of the Safari Zone. But then again, I guess that could, like, work for just about anywhere. It's just, like wander around this specific area, change route, and then, like, it will, like, affect things, maybe? Hmm. So, like, the same could work here. Around 110. Because, like, there is this, so we can easily just go Mac Chappell, walk in the grass for, like, a minute. Huh. True, I'm reading off of Bul Bulbapedia. I probably, yeah, that's probably Bulbapedia's a more an expert opinion on things, maybe. But at the same time, still a fan site. But as we wander around through the grass, hoping for Latios, Latios to appear, I shall ponder the other Pokemon games I really should play, like uh, Pokemon Coliseum. I've never played Pokemon Coliseum. And I meant to play Pokemon Coliseum after Crystal, but then I just got, like, uh, thrown off my schedule. That happens a lot when I try to stream games. Of course you would. Watch us be Latios. That would be funny. How dare you? You're not funny, but you are gulping. I don't really care to catch you. But I haven't ran into a gulping yet, so... Let's see. Uh, works so well, uh, Master? No, definitely not. On Cup of Four, but on weak Pokemon. Here. If you don't get in the Pokeball, we'll just leave you. And then we'll walk into the, like, bike place and then come back out and diddly D. Also, Absol's face it looks odd here. Gulpin, the stomach Pokemon. This Pokemon's stomach fluid can even digest scrap iron. In one gulp, it can swallow something that is as large as itself. Now we will quickly enter exit. And we will activate another max repel. And wander around a bit. This does feel a bit more tedious than the the legendary dogs. If only because Legendary Dogs, you knew where they were, so you knew where to wander around to try and find them. I guess I under kind of understand why you don't know where Latios, Latios is, is because it was just from a broadcast, but then I feel like you should be able to, like, go to, like, uh, ba 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 go to the professor and he'd be like, oh yes, I heard there's a new Pokemon. Here, have this Pokenav installation that, like, gives you the ability to know when a strange Pokemon is nearby. Just, like, hand wave something that... Because this is just odd. The legendary dogs were in Generation 1... I mean, Generation 2. 
why would the very next generation implement the same type of, like, Pokemon mechanic, a chase Pokemon, but then not give you the knowledge? I remember if you watch, uh, they say the last location. Aha! But then by the time you move to that location, it will have moved, so it's basically useless anyway. Like, that's kind of neat, but at the same time, it just feels... Bleh. Unless one of these places has a TV. Yeah, that just feels a bit bleh. I think the Pokemon Fan Club has a TV. Darn, they don't have a TV. One on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Misprint is a chore to catch, too. Because <laughs> I don't really mind hard-to-catch Pokemon. It's mostly just that they're trying to do something that they already did. Mom, I like this program. Better get going. So it's probably only the television in your house that tells you. That is stupid. So basically, it, the, the, the best thing is to just go in and out of a door again and again and again. Hoping that you randomly get luck. This is stupid. <laughs> no wonder people say, use the master ball on this asshole. Because again, I wouldn't mind it as much if we just were able to know with a look at the map. If we could just go to our PokéNav and be like, he diddly dee, is it here? And then the game is able to tell you. We can zoom? Why can we zoom? I never knew we could zoom before. Interesting. This is new to me. But I wonder what counts as, like, a transition, because I assume, like, leaving and entering an area, like going into a building and then leaving the building, activates like the change in route. I don't think it should be specifically like something like the Safari Zone. Well, let's get into a random fight. For some reason, only the Gulpin wanted to fight me. B. Latios. Nope, it's a, it's a Poochiana. Like, the reason the chase Pokemon worked in the second generation is because they gave you a, a way to track them. You were able to be like, oh yes, I will move around a lot until they are right next to me, and then I will go and hunt them. Not this random luck of the draw shenanigans. That they literally don't teach you anything. Sure, like, you can go check the TV, but I don't know, like, who knows, who knows. If this rappel wears off and it's not here, we'll go back to our home, we will check the television, and we will try to hunt it that way. I guess. It probably won't work, but we will give it a shot. I'm going to guess that you aren't here. But we will use up all of the rappel that we can out of spite. Well, off we go. We shall fly back to home. Look at the television. And then we will fly to the route that it is currently sighted at, if it is there. Dear Magical Television, please work. There's a movie on TV. Is it in my room? None of the TVs are telling me where it is. Why, game? Why are you like this? Why are you just anti-fun? We're gonna tell you about this Pokémon. By the way, you're never gonna catch this Pokémon. Such brilliant design! Again, how is this so much worse than the second generation chase the dogs around? TV would be flashing if it had a news report on. Yeah, but you'd think that you'd be able to just check at any time. It's kind of stupid that you can't. Teach the player where shit is, game. If you're going to have a chase Pokemon. This is dumb. Especially because it's not like touching the TV does anything else. Eternally have information for the player at this point. 
I'm gonna run out of goddamn max repels. Or not. Okay. The game decided to spite me. Hello, Latias. <laughs> and that, dear friends, the the uh, the the moral of the story is: if you bitch enough, you will get what you want. Okay, now we're gonna throw the goddamn master ball at you, so we never have to do this again. Master ball, go! All right, at least that was... I don't know why it happened. Sure, fine. Latias, the Eon Pokemon. They make a small herd of only several members. They rarely make contact with people or other Pokemon. They disappear if they sense enemies. <laughs> I've learned a wise lesson. Hmm. What shall we name you? Hmm. What shall we name you? What would be a good name for you? Like a genuine name. For some reason, Brain says, just make a nickname out of your normal name and call you Latty. But okie doke, it's done. I guess we'll go ahead and maybe add, hmm. To be on the safe side, we'll add Latty to our team. As opposed to Gardevoir, because we're gonna be going. Yes, we're gonna be going. We're gonna be going to the Battle Frontier. Come on, Latty. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird that none of the TV is like flash. I guess they make expected you to know like from the first one but they should know I don't have an, a I have no attention span well the first things first we should see what moves Lottie has hello dear Lottie what is your move you're a dragon psychic L you have the ability levitate you have the lonely nature I was looking for you for so long uh yeah it's move set before checking out exactly my thought Water Sport, Mist Ball, and Psychic. Mist Ball. Attacks of a Flurry of Down may lower special attack. Not a bad thing. Although it's kind of weird that the 90 power Psychic has more power points than the 70 power Mist Ball. Refresh, heals, poisoning, paralysis, or burn. That might come in handy. And Water Sport. The user becomes soaked to raise resistance to fire. Interesting. And we shall quickly save, so that nothing can happen. And we will at least go and see... ...what the... ...Frontier has to do. May I see your ticket? Flashed my ticket. That's all you need. Take me to the Battle Frontier! And we'll at least check and see how the Battle Frontier is like from a first thing. If it's mean, we'll see. The Battle Frontier. I've long dreamed about a place like it. I find it funny that it took me becoming a champion to be invited here. Is it your first time here? Please step this way. The front lines of Pokemon battling. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. For a first time visitor, we issue the Frontier Pass. It's for use at all the facilities of the Battle Frontier. Here you are. Frontier Pass. All right. We hope you enjoy all the Battle Frontier has to offer. Well, if it isn't Neon, you came out here. Oh, Mr. Scott, sir. Good day to you, sir. What are you, the head of the Frontier? It's great to see you here. It really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I had hoped that you'll also experience the pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit if you have the time. I'm your guide to the various facilities here in the Battle Frontier, which we'd like to learn about. Battle Tower, Battle Dome, Battle Palace, Battle Arena, Battle Factory, Battle Pike, Battle Pyramid. Alright. So the Battle Tower is the one that was a bitch, but that was mostly because dear Gardevoir tipped the scales against us. 
It is a gigantic tower considered to be the battle frontier symbol. There are four kinds of battle rooms. Single, double, multi, and link. All right, nope, that is a completely different tower that we're talking about here. Which would you like to learn about? Battle Dome is the large building shaped like a huge egg. The battle tourneys are held in this facility, are offered in two courses, single and double. Battle Palace is the red building at the right of the battle frontier. There are two kinds of battle halls, single and double. All right. It just seems to be constant double or singles. Battle Arena, dojo-like building. An event called the Set KO Tourney takes place at the Battle Arena, which would you like to learn about? Uh, battle Pike is uh, shaped like the Pokemon at the center left of the Battle Frontier. An event called the Battle Choice is conducted there. Battle Choice? Interesting. And Battle Pyramid is an enormous pyramid. It's, battle Quest is conducted there. That explains nothing! I'm your guide to the Frontier Pass. Would you like to learn about symbols? There are seven facilities at the Battle Frontier. Trainers who gain recognition for their abilities may be rewarded with symbols from each of the facilities. During a symbol, trainers may need to defeat other trainers in a row and may need to win events repeatedly. It's certainly not easy to win symbols. I wish you the best of luck. All right. Battle points are awards given to trainers who battled outstandingly at the Battle Frontier. You may trade your battle points for exchanges at the exchange service corner. Interesting. <coughs> I'm a guide to the basic rules that are common at all challenges offered at the facilities. What would you like to learn about? Oh, so is everything set to level 50? Two styles. All the challenges of the Battle Frontier facility come in two courses, level 50 and open level. All right. Level 50 courses open to Pokemon up to and including level 50. Please keep in mind, however, that no trainer you face will have any Pokemon below level 50. This course is the entry level for battles at the Battle Frontier. To begin, we hope you'll challenge this course. And then... Oh, dang it. I thought it would stay on the same diddly D. So kind of interesting. Everyone is lower to level 50, I guess. The open level course places no limits on the levels of Pokemon entering challenges. The levels of your opponents will be adjusted to match the levels of your Pokemon. However, no trainer your face will be have any Pokemon below level 60. All right. Virtually any kind of Pokemon may take any of the challenges on the facility. Eggs and certain kinds of Pokemon, however, are not permitted. The number of Pokemon required for challenges will depend on the facility. At all facilities, however, two or more of the same kind of Pokemon are not permitted. What would you like to learn? Hold items. When entering a challenge at a Battle Frontier facility, Pokemon may not be holding the same kind of item. Please make sure that all Pokemon during the challenge are holding different items. Interesting. I guess we will try the Battle Tower at level 50? There used to be nothing here at all that long ago, but now look at the place. Amazing! I'll bring my mother to see this. How come I had to become champion and all these people are just like, ha oh, ha ha. And we're just over here in the middle of nowhere. This is the Battle Factory. Seek out the toughest Pokemon. Oh yeah, they have a store here. And little buildings. Pokemon Fuse Dimensions is a funny game to try out later. It's a fan-made game where you fuse Pokemon to make funny abominations. I've definitely, uh, like, seen that. Or at least, uh, seen some of it. There were a bunch of, like, clips of people, like, making their own, like, crazy monsters. Battle Point Exchange Services. This is the Battle Tower. Keep the win streak as the toughest trainer. We will try at least the Battle Tower. Of course, we will have Zoom in front. We will go ahead and save, even though they'll probably ask us to save before entering the tower itself. Yeah, maybe we'll try out the Fused Dimensions after we go through the majority of Pokemon games. And who are you? I beg your pardon, but are you Neon? I'm Callie, and I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. I've long been an admirer of yours. Um, I hope you don't find this request too much of a burden, but may I become your apprentice? Sure. I'm delighted. I don't wish to waste your time, so please, do, uh, I plan to take on the battle challenge soon. However, there are two levels. Which would be most suitable for me? Level take level 50. It's your choice, I see. I'll do my best. Thank you. I hope I can count on you again. Please take care. Interesting. So... Single battle room results. Let's try the single battle. 
where the talents of trainers are put to the test. Welcome to the Battle Tower. I'm your guide to the single battle rooms. Would you like to take the single challenge? Let's make sure. Uh, rooms and facilities for conducting single battles of three Pokemon. There are many uh, single battle rooms in the Battle Tower for team battles. In each of the single rooms, seven trainers await your challenge. If you manage to defeat all seven, you'll earn battle points. If you want to interrupt your challenge, please save the game. If you don't save it before interrupting, you'll be disqualified. Would you like to take the challenge? Let's go and take it. You can bring your gra uh, grader now if you want to make it to level 50. That's true. So yeah. One second. I will quickly seek out a computer. Because yeah, this place resets the levels. Unlike that one. Which is that random battle tower like ripoff back on the mainland. Sorry, Latios. You will be... Uh, you won't be brought up to level. Yeah, it took me a moment to be like, Great, what do you mean? It's just like, oh, Gardevoir. Now the question is, who do I bring? Who will I bring for this three match? Probably Shane... Nickel... And Luna, probably. I feel like that was best, alright? Yes, yes, you're the guide. I would... Oh, dang it. For some reason, my brain was just, you have to go down to select it. Latios should be taking up to level 50, as far as I remember. For some reason, because they said none of your opponents will be, like, below the level, they will be... It makes me feel like they won't. But I take Pokemon you're used to. Yeah, that's also true. Take me to the level 50! You don't have three eligible Pokemon. You must have three different Pokemon of 50 level or less to enter. Oh! Well, I thought they would make it level 50. Well, that's... That really makes me not want to do it now, because now I'm just going to have to... That's annoying. Why don't they make it level 50? Because all the fucking assholes up there are going to be like, Oh, we're all level 60. And I've, uh... <laughs> that's annoying. This makes me not want to do this until I've leveled up. But that makes it also annoying because I have to do open level and not <laughs> level 50. I feel like the level 50 thing should just auto-level your Pokemon down. That's stupid game. Bad game. Bad game. Not fun game. Bad game. <laughs> yeah, because all of my Pokemon have different items. Silk Scarf. Or Lax... Uh, yeah, the Lax Essence... Miracle Seed, King's Crown, Quick Claw, and I think Suving Bell or something else. I gave her something. So that's not, it's definitely not duplicate items. There's not duplicate Pokemon. And I don't even think there are duplicate types here. So it has to be the game going, no. How dare you have three levels over 50. That's silly game. That's very silly. Because again, if I go in there, the game literally said, by the way, open level is going to kick your ass if you can't get into level 50. So now I'm in the no man's land of... Ah, uh, that's just bothersome. I guess I could try open level anyway. But w yeah, I guess I could try open level, but it just feels meh. That really takes the wind out of my sails, game. That's mean. Yeah, because I, I went into this expecting, like, oh, the level 50 challenge. It will make everything level 50. That's what I assumed. That's just mean. Well, I guess I'll take the open level. All right, we'll have Nickel at front. Then Luna. Then Shane. That's such an odd design decision. It's just so silly. Because that really limits what you can do. You have to basically build an entire team around the level 50 challenge. Well, I guess I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to power level all my Pokemon. I won't give up until I win. You're probably going to kick my ass because you're an asshole. But yeah, I, I, I think I know what I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to power level all of my Pokemon. Oh, 
none of the Pokemon are gonna be below level 60, but they'll be over as well. Darn. And again, oh, and now they match my Gardevoir again. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is bothersome game. This is very bothersome and annoying. <laughs> You are silly game. Same situation as the battle tower. Because the world is made of pain. I probably should have healed. And somehow you missed. You're a fool. Oh, items can't be used now. How dare you. As for funds, let's do double team and immediately get hit. But that's stupid. That's stupid that like, no, we're not going to level down your Pokemon. But we are going to level up all the enemies you face. They'll be spaced at level 60. Until they want to just murder you. This is dumb. I hope that they iron out the... Like, Battle Frontier in later games. Fly will be good. And it has a chance to miss. For a double setup move, you'd think... You'd think... That fly would be good, but it's a setup move that can miss. That's dumb, and I hate it. I'd rather go for a guaranteed hit on something than be like, I'm going to waste two turns on this move <laughs> that can miss. And you're a flying type, so you're a bastard is what you are. How dare you sing. I should be able to use berries in this match. How dare you use attract. He's asleep. How can you even attract him? Are you drugging him like Rita Repulsa did to poor what's-his-name, Lord Zed? You missed, because he already woke up. But yeah, when we probably lose this, what we'll do is take out L uh, Luna again, because the game is very dumb. Game, will you fuck off with the, the oh, he's in love and can't do anything. It's annoying and stop. It's level 60. It's level 64. Stop favoring the AI! I am a, but a poor boy! And nobody loves me! Galileo Galileo Figaro. Why is Sing allowed in the battle tower? That's my question. That sounds like it should be something that is illegal. Yet they allow it. The battle tower is biased. And must all die. Will that will the attract please go away? Or is it just there eternally like curse? And we'll just use Giga Drain a lot. Will attract go away? Go away! This Swablu is a bitch. Why is it built like this? Why? Not only does the game have to be an asshole when it comes to friggin' the level 50 challenge, it has to go and be like, hey diddly dee dee, we're also gonna throw annoying bastards at you. My favorite, not being able to play the goddamn game. How dare the game be evil? Kill it! After this, I expect all of my attacks to be critical. Exactly. You demand recompense to yes? That's it, I give up. I'm gonna throw you off this tower. We restore Pokemon to full health. Good. You better. Go on. You're really not very scary at all. 
And you talk very weird at all. How is your tail not a swallow by now? I'm going to double team five billion times. Technically, I'll do it three times. And then I will hope that Nickel will never be hit for the majority of it. And then one like Sandshrew will come through and be like, I'm gonna throw a pebble. Oh, you're gonna fly a pie? I'm gonna fly a pie. My fly is better than your fly, and I'm guaranteed critical hits now because I invoked God. Of course you would. It's like the game knows. And also, if I land physical attacks on this... Well, I guess everything's a physical attack in this game. But if I try and use an attack on this dude, the game will be like, Ah, oh, you hit him, now you're paralyzed. Because that's fun. And it lands Thunder Wave. Three evasions! And I only got one miss! Isn't that fun? Once again! Game is just like, no, actually, you don't get to. You're gonna get earthquaked now. Die. If you get by electric move, he faints. Luckily, this electrike was dumb and decided to commit suicide by earthquake. Die. How dare you hit the boy? And how dare you make him flinch when I use, like, moves? that make people flinch, they hardly ever make people flinch, because the game is mean. Why are you just spamming detect? You think it's gonna save you? It's not. You're gonna have to detect a lawyer to save you from me. Oddly- How the hell are all these- Okay, I, I know- Okay, never mind. The, the battle tower is gonna get harder as time goes on, more than likely. We're gonna begin with these annoying-ass motherfuckers who are doing moves that just waste everybody's time! We're gonna begin with these low-level dudes. Well, low-level dudes. We're gonna start with these, like, low-evolution dudes. And then later on, there's gonna be people throwing around Kyogres. That's just how these things work, I suppose. This can't be happening to me! Turn off Caps Lock. I swear if I win this, I'm going to be upset in my own way. I only know how to charge! Hariyama is a strong fighting Pokemon used in competitive. I only know him because he's kind of like a Honda, and he was in the anime for a bit. He was like shoving people with stilted arm movements. Of course, we're going to use three evasion ups, and he's probably going to get nuked. Bastard. Don't you love it when you use evasion up and it does nothing? Don't you love when you use an evasion up and it does nothing? I'm just dedicated to this. Let's see how many times the game is just going to make me regret even keeping double team. It really seems to be one way. Either they can never land a hit ever or it, the evasion never works ever. There's no in between. Either the enemy is eternally doomed <laughs> or it's just a waste of time. That's so stupid. Why is it a waste of time game? Why do you waste my time? Why even have it be a move if it doesn't work? Oh, well, you see, it's all about RNG that you cheat. That you cheat, game? I probably shouldn't have sent out Shane because this is a part fire type, but it used a rock tomb for some reason. What, did you think that the ghost of my swellow was still there? You asshole? You complete another jerk. Great, it's a bug type. I think I'm fucked. Earthquake? Why did that do so much fucking damage, game? Why does that also raise all his stats, game? That feels dumb. 
Oh, sure. <laughs> that seems fair. An attack that does that much damage raises his stats that much. Oh, yeah. Totally. You're terrible, game. And now let's do the game again. Why? 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 You are annoying, game. Just random bullshit. Yeah, this attack does 5 billion damage. It also never misses. That is the type of move that should have like a 10% chance to hit. I swear. Let's double down, because we're not going to beat him. Evasion up. It's worthless. Why? This is stupid. Your record will be saved, and then we will come and have you thrown off a cliff. It has five power points. It should also have 5% chance to hit, if that's what it's going to do. How come all of my, like, five like five power points don't do that much damage? Oh, well, you see, we leveled it up to level 64, which is bullshit. Yeah, there's, like, basically no point to even try. Because it's just not going to do anything. Especially with that kind of bullshit. So there's basically no point to try the open level. I can't play the 50 level, so I have to grind until everybody is at least level 60. And then just not use Gardevoir, I guess. That's dumb. The Battle Frontier is dumb. I don't think I want to do the Battle Frontier anymore. Because that's just a dumb system. It'd be one thing if I was actually on equal footing with the enemy, but no, they're just like, we're gonna match you, but we're never gonna let you match the enemy. That's the- that's the mean thing. If I could at least lower my Pokémon's level to level 50 for the fighting, that would be fine. I feel like it would be fair. But then the game just goes, well, actually, uh, the enemies can be as, as powerful as we want, but you can't be as weak as we want, which is just dumb. I can only theorize that they fixed it in later games and made it so it does lower your main team's level down. Why would they even design this like this? It makes no sense. You're going you're going to go through the elite 4. The elite 4. And Wallace has Pokémon that knock on the door of level 60. Why would you have Pokemon under level 50 still in your main team, game? And why would you then bar the player from using them in the Battle Frontier, the post-game? The Battle Frontier is stupid. <laughs> we can at least go check and see, like, what the battle point, like, exchange is like, out of curiosity. Hello, this is Strange Services. Battle points collect for lovely prizes. Lapras doll, so this is... I still haven't done the secret base thing at all because it requires you to teach a move to a Pokemon. What do you exchange for? More stuff for your secret base that I have never used. What about you? What do you exchange for? Something that's actually worthwhile. Madly so. I'm sure it's going to be like carnival prizes. Yeah, because every carnival gives you protein and zinc and iron. And what do you give out? Leftovers. Ah, held items. Very cool. A hold item that snipes Pokemon out of infatuation. Uh, reduces accuracy. Power but permits only that move. Yeah, choice band. King's Rock. Focus band. Scope lens. Yeah, very cool. Some of this is actually pretty worth it if only the Battle Frontier wasn't stupid. Because the idea of the Battle Frontier is super cool, but the limitations are dumb. I understand the like only one of each Pokemon, only one you like ver point like a only one version of each held item. You can't have multiple of the same one. That's understandable. But then they do stupid shenanigans where they won't lower the level of your Pokemon to level 50. But they will maximize the level of your enemies to the highest level of your, like, Pokemon. But they won't raise your Pokemon's level to match them. Neither, I believe, if you went to level 50 with a level 40 Pokemon, would they raise it to level 50. So the game is cheating again. But yeah, I probably don't care about the Battle Frontier after that. That just 
really harshes my vibes, as it will. Like, I want to play the Battle Frontier, but... I can't really bring myself to care when it's going to require me to go and do even more grinding. You can catch Rayquaza, uh, uh, Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Groudon and go in a team of level 70. That's true. And it does, uh, like, uh, have their own thing, but we'll probably have to focus on doing that another time. We'll go, because at least we can go to the Weather Institute to know where, like, harsh rains and droughts are happening to try and find Kyogre and... Uh, Groudon, and then I think I assume that the boy, Rayquaza, will return to Sky Tower. I'm sure they're level 70. At least level 60, probably level 70, which also means that they would be a pain in the ass to catch a little bit. Mm, who knows? But, ah. Uh, we've been almost going for three hours. We beat the Elite Four and caught Latios. But what we will do is we will have a bonus stream... We will have a bonus stream in which we try to go and catch Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. And then we will try to use them in at least the Battle Tower to see how mean the game is. Because if the Battle Tower can be fun when it's actually, like, decent and nice and fun, we will see. But yeah, because... I do want to give the Battle Frontier a shot, but that oversight of not lowering the level of your main team to level 50 to let you play the 50 challenge, the thing that they recommend you start with, is such an oversight. That almost makes me wonder if there's a, uh, bum -ba bum if there is a ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald that is Pokemon Emerald, except your Pokemon are lowered to level 50 in the 50 level challenge in the Battle Frontier. I saved before the encounter and spammed Quick Balls and uh, reset if it failed on the first flow. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I abused save states in Crystal when it came to some of them. Mostly just to be like, hey, reset to the start of the fight so I can begin again. Until Ho-Oh was just an absolute bitch and just kept being annoying. Then I started save stating in the middle, I think. It's been forever. It's been forever. I think I started save stating. Then, there's a 10% chance of a catch with a quick ball. I'm going to have to try and find a quick ball then. Let's see. Uh, there was a shop here. We can check the shop at the front here. At the very least. Why is our cave down there? Is that where Scott lives? Is he a cave gremlin? What do you have to sell? Nah, this guy doesn't sell Pokeballs. Darn. I guess I could always go to the Pokemon League. But they don't sell Pokeballs either. We'll quickly check. Wait. Hmm. Or does Quick Balls only exist in... Not Pedalberg. Uh, Rustboro. Because, again, I want to give the Battle Frontier a shot, but those rules are shoddy. They are unfair. They punish the player for playing the game. There's Timer Ball. I don't have Quick Balls here. Repeat Ball, that works better on Pokemon Cop before. Where are Quick Balls sold? I feel like the game is being mean. Personally, I think that all the Pokemon should just be the same instead of being like, oh, we are just a healing mart. I was like, I don't fucking care. Give me Pokeballs. We're just a healing mart. I'm gonna kill your family. We're just the Pokeballs. <laughs> I wonder if this puts me at the beginning. Oh, nope, just puts me at uh, the Evergrande City, even though it's not a city. But also, this guy uh, doesn't sell Pokeballs. He just sells healing. Oh, no, he does whole, uh, Ultra Balls, but not Quick Balls. I don't know where Quick Balls are. I'm going to quickly Google that, because I'm curious now. And the game is mean. Meh. Do Quick Balls even exist in this game? Because I could have sworn they were mentioned. Nope, they do not exist in this game. Generation 4 onward. We will try Verdant Turf Town, but from the looks of it, <laughs> I checked the wiki, and the wiki said uh, Generation 4. But who knows? Maybe the wiki's wrong. We will at least give it a shot, because why not? Verdant Turf. Verdant Turf. Where is Verdant Turf? Lily Cove, Fortree, Marville. Oh, ah, Verdant Turf. That'd be very hilarious if Verdant Turf, like the town that has nothing, 
their Mart has quick balls. If if this is true, if it has quick balls and the goddamn wiki is wrong, I will laugh. Nope, it has nest balls, not quick balls. Profound status. And fluffy tail! Used to flee from any battle for wild Pokemon. Great balls and nest balls. Unless you make <laughs> the Rayquaza the weaker Pokemon in that battle. You will face my level 100 god. Then why do you even want me? Collection. <laughs> yeah, then I guess we will quickly fly to uh, this place so that we can... Well, actually, we will fly to Pacifilog. And then check their shop, because why not? My brain is on fire. We'll check, uh, do they even have a shop? I don't think they do. I don't even think they have a shop. Unless it's not marked as a shop. How can they survive if they don't have a shop? How dare you all survive without shops? But we shall heal here so we can just, I don't know, tradition at this point. And then uh, next time, we shall give a shot at catching Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Groudon. If only just so that we can abuse them in the uh, uh, diddly D. Even though I think we might have to throw in, like, we might have to power level Gardevoir even more to use her alongside the legendaries in the double battles, maybe. <laughs> They're a fishing village. Well, how are they supposed to buy fishing rods then? But, <laughs> but yeah, we'll catch the legendaries. Maybe power level, uh, ba ba ba. Maybe power level Latios, but we'll probably just use Guard of War for double battles if we even care to. We'll most likely stick to single battles to give the Battle Frontier a shot, but yeah, next time we will go after the three legendaries to give the Battle Frontier a second shot and see if it is fun. I suggest getting a Pokemon to put them to sleep. The best I can offer is uh, using the Striker for paralyzing them. Because, <laughs> honestly, I think bashing my head against the wall of trying to capture them my way will probably be faster than me going and trying to level up a Pokemon to learn Hypnosis. But who knows? Hmm. In, in the downtime, I could probably do it. In the downtime, I could probably do it. Yeah. In the downtime, between streams, I might do some grinding on the folk. Might use that time to grind up another routes up to hypnosis stage maybe i'll look into what pokemon have hypnosis and pokemon emerald it's a possibility anyways it was a great find your stream i'll be watching your previous vods to catch up thank you very much i don't think they're too far behind but the i think there's like a few of the past ones that aren't up yet they're scheduled and i don't want to just flood everybody i'm not at the big level of youtube channelage to be able to just be like, here's five million episodes, and people go, hey, YouTuber Netflix. But, yes, again, we are going to take a break for a little bit. I will go do my own thing, level up some people maybe, capture a Pokemon that can do hypnosis, and then we will go after the legendaries and give the Battle Frontier another shake as we play on their do. How do you often do you stream? Basically, uh, whenever I feel like it. I have no schedule right now. I tried to keep a schedule once upon a time. That broke me. I might try to have a schedule more nailed down in the future, because streams have been going well. But who knows? Brain... My brain is evil, where my brain will be like, I should make a schedule, and then it just drains me. And then it'll just be like, oh, you should just go and stream whenever you want. And then that drains me as well. It's just like a constant back and forth of evil. Uh, maybe I should get back into the habit of, like, saying, hey, follow me on Twitter. And then I'll put out a, like, alert. It's just like, hey, I am going live. But Twitter is hardly a good place to be a thing. It's very hard. <laughs> it's okay. That's why YouTube has a bell icon. Just weep for the poor Twitch Twitch folk, since I dual stream, and Twitch is falling down a hole, and sometimes they don't send out proper notifications. <laughs> but yes, 
Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, which I want there to be edited content at some point after I conquer my brain. And then, of course, the streaming channel, Neon Icy Games, where, as we've discussed, the stream, past VODs of streams go up there for posterity and future watching. And on social media, I've been off, off it for many years now. Understandable in this day and age. But if you uh, folks want other things from me, like art similar to my little character in the corner, you can see me post art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, just all over the place. Many of those links can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. And I have been decently posting art lately, I guess. Hmm. And then, of course, in my link tree, there's also links to uh, my writing, because I do that now. It's very fun, and sometimes people like it. And if you like it, you can catch my archive of my own down there in the link tree, as well as a link to my Patreon, just in case in this mad world there's a kind, generous billionaire who's like, this funny internet person amuses me and throws me a few dollars to survive the evils of the world. Eh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to catch you all next time! Bye-bye.